everybody this is Chelsea with Appalachian Herb Kitchen I have been doing some work clearing out invasive plants on my property today and when I got down to this little area um, I noticed that not only was there poison ivy back here which I don't know if you can see behind me um, but there were a lot of plants growing along with the poison ivy that people often confuse for poison ivy when out in the woods and so i wanted to show you a few different plants that when they come up in the spring people tend to think that they are poison ivy um, but are not and then also show you poison ivy and show you how to differentiate those plants there's starting to be mosquitoes out here um, from the poison ivy so the first plant i want to show you is um, a box elder which is this little plant behind me and I don't want it here a box elder is actually a type of maple tree and I don't want it here in the future so I'm just going to cut it down so we can look at how we ID a box elder so a box elder as you can see has leaves of three just like poison ivy but the difference with the box elder and the leaves are kind of shiny a little bit but not quite as waxy as the poison ivy leaves are but the way that you can tell the box elder from the poison ivy is by how the leaves are arranged on the stem so if we look here you can see that the, the leaves come off directly opposite of each other there's an opposite leaf arrangement you have one you have another one right across from it one another one right across from it all through this plant you can see that they're no matter how big it gets, when it gets to be a big maple tree, um, it's going to have leaves that come off completely opposite. So that is one way to tell a box elder. The other way is that it's a small tree. It's not a vine. Poison ivy is a vine. So box elder is a small tree. So it will come out from one central point in the soil and you won't be able to pull it up and see where it runs at all. It's, it's one tree. So box elder has leaves of three. Ooh, scary, might be poison ivy, but it's opposite leaf arrangement. So I'm gonna show us what poison ivy's leaf arrangement looks like so you know the difference. So I'm not gonna touch the poison ivy because I am highly allergic to it, um, but this is poison ivy. And if you look at it, you can see that the leaves are pretty waxy looking. They're really kind of shiny on the top. And they get really, really big. And the leaf arrangement of poison ivy, let's see if this one on the fence is a good example. The leaf arrangement of poison ivy is different than the leaf arrangement of the box elder. What you can see is that the leaves come off of the stem in an alternate leaf pattern. You see how this, the, they go one leaf comes off and then you go up the stem a little bit more and then another leaf comes off. And something else that we can see here with this one, this specimen, is the hairiness on the vine. It shoots all of these little root hairy root grabber things to climb up trees or in this case an old fence. And it's a vine. And this is all part of the same poison ivy vine so it moves and you can see it goes down into here so that is poison ivy it's alternate on the stem and it has lots of lots of hairs on the vine to help it climb in the winter or towards the winter the fall it will turn a bright bright red um, it's actually really pretty in the fall when it turns colors so we can see everywhere that alternate leaf arrangement. So another one that people often shoot a picture of online, and I'm gonna walk over here and show you guys, and say, is this poison ivy, when it comes up from the ground in the spring, is the raspberry family, the rubus family. This is the one that is common here in Western North Carolina and on a lot of the East Coast. This plant, this raspberry is common. It is a black raspberry or a black cap raspberry, a rubus species. And you can see on the stem, this has alternate leaves as well, 
They're shaped a little different. They're not quite as round. They're more toothed on the edges than poison ivy tends to be. Um, although poison ivy can be kind of toothed on the edges too. But you can see that the stem of this is not green. It doesn't have hairs. It's not a vine. It's a cane that shoots straight up out of the ground. And even though it has that alternate leaf arrangement, you can see that the stem of that has this like blue, this like powdery white down over it. And the stem underneath is a pretty, if you rub this down off, I don't know if it will be in this one because this is a first year plant, so it's still green, but here I have some second year plants right here. Um, so if you rub the down off on these second year plants that are actually fruiting, you can see a deep purple stem under that. And that is the black cap raspberry. Um, so that is not poison ivy either. Another one that people confuse is also right in this little area that it confuse poison ivy with. And that is the Virginia creeper. Now this one grows in a vine like poison ivy, but you can see one, two, three, four, five. They're leaves of five that shoot off. And they too do it in an alternate arrangement and it can be kind of waxy. It too is very beautiful in the fall when it changes color. Um, and it grows on a vine. So if you pick this up, you can see that it grows on a vine. But the vine is different than the poison ivy vine. It has these little tendrils that it uses to crawl with. So you can see those little tendrils. Poison ivy does not have tendrils like that. It doesn't have leaves of five, sorry. There was a uh, mosquito landing on it. It doesn't have leaves of five, and it also doesn't have these little tendrils on its vine to climb with. It uses those hairs or root hairs to climb with instead of this. So this is Virginia creeper. Lots of people like to say that Virginia creeper is invasive. It is um, a plant that flourishes in the east coast of the United States. It will spread, um, but it is not invasive. It is a native plant, hence the name Virginia creeper. It is native to the U.S. and native to the Appalachian mountain range, so it is not invasive, and it does produce it's gorgeous in the fall. I love the Virginia creeper in the fall. But you can see that there's poison ivy as well that's mixed in with the Virginia creeper. Something funny to note here, or good to note here, is that growing next to this poison ivy that will give you a horrible rash, right over here, you see those orange flowers? That is jewelweed, which is said to be the antidote to poison ivy. And it usually grows right near where poison ivy grows. So I'll do a video about jewelweed on another day. So I hope you guys found that video helpful, that information helpful. One thing I also wanted to state about the raspberries that I forgot to say when I was talking about the raspberries, raspberries have thorns on their, um, they have thorns on their branches. They're not very big thorns. They're not like blackberries or like wine berries, which are also in the rubus family. Um, but they do have, raspberries have thorns on the, on the branches. Poison ivy does not have thorns on the branches. So uh, I hope that y'all found that video helpful in being able to identify those four different plants and differentiate each other, them from each other. Um, and I will see you again on another day for another video. Y'all have a good weekend.